In this video, we are going to learn how to take a continuous variable and categorize it and create a new variable, which will be a categorical variable. So um, we are going to take the variable age and we are going to categorize it. And this is how we will do it. You will go up to transform and recode into different variables. This means that it's going to keep the variable age as we have it, but then create a new variable. So click on that, and um, I'm going to reset this. Click on age, go over, so that means it's going to use the variable age, and output variable is going to be our new variable and I'm going to call this age cats because it's a categorical variable. You can call it whatever you want. And my label is just going to be the age of the individual. Change. Now I'm going to go to old and new values. And the way that I want to categorize this is I want my first category to be those who are under 50 years old. So I'm going to go to range and I'm going to choose lowest through value. So this is going to take the lowest age that we have in our whole data set and include from there all the way to 49 years old. I don't want to include 50 year olds because they will be in the next category. So I'm going to type 49. Then here is going to be what we are um, labeling our new value and I want this category to be labeled as zero so all of those individuals from the lowest age to 49 years old will be now categorized as zero and I'm going to add that my next category is going to be 50 to 60 year olds so I'm going to choose the range here and I'm going to just type 50 through 60 so that will include 50 year olds and 60 year olds in this category. And my new value, will, value is going to be number one. So all of those will be labeled as one. And then my final category is going to be those who are 61 and older. So that I'm going to click on this one because it's going to include um, the oldest people all the way until 61 year olds, not 60 year olds years old because this will include this number and those are going to be valued at two so now you can see these are the three categories I'm going to have in my new variable I'm going to click continue and um, I'm going to change that and then I didn't need to do that but I'm going to click OK and this is an output window which shows every Thing that we do so it will show all of our calculations and it will show if we change variables or anything I'm going to click out of that for now we don't need it but now you can see that in our variable view we have another variable that is called age underscore cat and we can click on that and we can see that now we have variables that are labeled as sorry categories labeled as zero which were those that were under 50 years old. We have a category one who are 50 to 60 year, year olds and then we have a category two which were older than 60 years old. If we want to change this decimal we can go back to variable view and we can see where it says decimal we can change that and we can go down to zero it doesn't need a decimal because it's a category and we can go back to data view and we can see they're just labeled as zero, one, and two. Um, we have all of this information and except for the values so we're going to change the value and we're going to label them so that we can remember that zero was under 50, one was 50 to 60, and two was over 60. And now anytime 
that we make any calculations, SPSS will show us the value label so we don't have to go back and try to remember which category was which.